Now, in this question, we're asked to divide 560 by 100, okay? Now, this is pretty easy. Remember, when dividing by powers of 10, okay? And remember, 100 is a power of 10. And if you if you should note our place value system, and, and let me just quickly um, capture it for you. Yes, so if you're wondering what, what, I, what I meant by power of 10, here we have our place value system. And here we have a, in the hundreds column, I have 100. And 100 is the same as 10 to the 2, okay? So uh, dividing by 100 is powers of 10, dividing by 10, 10 is also a power of 10. A uh, thousand is also a power, power of 10, uh, 10,000, a hundred thousand, a million, all those numbers are powers of 10. That's what we mean because we are in the base 10 system of numeration. Now, the key thing to note when dividing by powers of 10 is as if you're moving the decimal point to the left. Okay, when dividing by powers of 10 is as if you're moving the decimal point to the left. So let's look at this uh, question quickly. Here we have a five, and let me just change my color. Here we have 560, and we're asked to divide 560 by 100. So we're dividing by 100, all right? Now, this is a whole number. 560. So if we have a whole number, then the decimal point would really be at the end of the number. All right. Because if you notice, if I should write and I'm going to write it, if, I, if this is 560 and, and if you make a quick connection, right, the zero would be in the in the units column because it's it's to the far right okay when we when you don't see a decimal point in the number the last digit here must be in the units column and the six would be in the tens column and the five would be in the hundred hundreds column now i have a 560 here let me just change my color again i have a 560 60. So obviously the decimal point would be right there. Now when dividing by powers of 10 is as if you're moving to the left. Okay, it's as if it's as if you're moving the point to the left. It's the point is not really moving, but that, that's just a general concept. Alright. So you're going to count how many zeros that you are dividing by here. I'm dividing by a hundred, and in a hundred I have a I have how many zeros? I have one two zeros okay so i have two zeros in a hundred so that's the amount of time i'm gonna hop or jump okay so here now i'm going to jump two times since a hundred has two zeros so i'm going to hop one two so now the point has changed places and we have hopped twice to our left so here now we would have for our answer five point six okay so this would be our answer when dividing by a hundred all right so obviously our answer would be c so c is the correct answer so we would eliminate we would eliminate a and we would eliminate b and d so c is the correct answer all right <clears throat> now let's try another one just to give you just to ensure that you're comfortable with what you're doing Let, let's say and this is just another question i'm making up out of my head now just to ensure that you're comfortable let's say that they gave us 95 okay and they're saying that we should divide 95 divided by a thousand okay one two three again this implies that i have 95 okay so remember this is a whole number so you're going to look for the point and for any whole number the point is always invisible it's there at the end okay now when you look how many zeros we have we have one two three zeros so that's the amount of times i'm going to hop so let me change my color again quickly so i would have hopped this is one hop this is two hop and this would be three hops so since i've hopped a third time then I'm going to put a zero to fill that place okay so now in my answer I would have the point would be there so I would have point zero nine 
five in this case okay i i just thought i would i would do that just to ensure that you're comfortable with the whole concept when dividing by powers of 10 we move to our left and any amount of zeros we have that's the amount of times we hop all right feel free to leave a comment or a question if you're not clear and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye